What's up guys, James Palms here. Uh, today is September 27th, 2017. I'm going to be potting up my first ever Washingtonia Robusta. As you can see, I put these in the bag on September 20th, 2017. There is the first uh, seedling coming up right now. There's a couple more coming up in there, but this is the fastest one. I'm gonna put this uh, into a pot right now and I'm gonna start uh, taking pictures and videos over the growing this palm. So I'll show you this uh, over the course of the year. So here's the video. Hope you guys enjoy. So guys, this is September 21st, 2019, so these are all two years old now, so uh, this, some of these aren't as big, these ones here, uh, and those, those couple, these are all that's left because I've sold off uh, a couple of these, and I just kept, uh, well I didn't even keep, those aren't my favorite ones, I basically had about 25 for the first year here. And uh, this was my favorite one that I kept bringing inside. And these other ones here, I took over to a greenhouse. They actually all got eaten uh, down to just a little tiny uh, stick. Uh, and they regrew out of that this spring. And the greenhouse, when I picked these plants up that were staying in for the winter, uh, there was, somebody had watered. It was either me or the other guy. But they had watered and there was ice all in here, snow and ice. So it was uh, actually under 32 degrees Fahrenheit in the greenhouse. So. When I seen that, and they were all the leaves, they had their leaves on them, they were all eaten by rats and stuff, because they were uh, the smallest palms in there, so I rescued them all. There was about, I brought home about 10 or 11 of them. Um, since then I've sold or given away the rest, but these are the ones that are remaining. So I have, uh, well, six plants basically, uh, out of my 25 germinating uh, two years ago. Uh, two years, one day ago, exactly. So these are all two years old, so this is what you can expect. So this is your sort of, this is sort of average if you basically did nothing and it was outside in a, you know, quite a cold winter. Obviously this was sitting at right around freezing for, for the, for one of the whole winters. And the other winter it was just a seedling, like a blade of grass. But uh, that's what it's looking like now. And this has been sitting outside in Ontario uh, for uh, since May, or uh, no, since March, sorry. Uh, when I brought them home, they were in a closet. I had them in a closet with a, for a little bit with a little grow light, but that didn't really do much for them. But you can see there's the trunk. They are pretty big. They are a pretty big trunk. There's a spider in there too. But uh, this one's a little smaller. Some of these I didn't pot up right away too. They stayed in a little cup for a very long time. But uh, anyways, they're definitely healthy. They've been fertilized and they've been just sitting outside. Um, it's just regular potting soil actually mixed with some of my garden soil. So. This one here got a little more perlite. This is a, I uh, mixed a little bit better mixture, but uh, this one here is a bit of my garden soil, a bit of sand, a bit of perlite. Yeah, you can see the trunk here on this guy though is is quite big. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, if you circumference wise about seven seven inches, eight inches, maybe even more. Um, but uh, 
Anyway, if you want to judge it, I would say it's about uh, double the, th not double the thickness, but o over as thick as a baseball bat. This right here is about as thick as a baseball bat right there. So, and then it expands outwards there, so. Um, but uh, that's how it's looking, these ones here. And you can actually see on most of them here where the rat ate, like, this is one of the things, that's where the, 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 the stem was that it was trying to eat. Oh, some of them it actually ate the mare stem all the way down, ate the whole dirt right, so there's nothing left. So these were the first little leaves. I left them on just so I can see that pushed out. They were in there. You can see where afterwards the rat had eaten and I even cut them to make it a little cleaner to hope and hydrogen peroxide it to hope that they would grow good. Um, but that's what happened to all these. But it didn't seem to hurt them. I mean, they were only a year old. They were very small plants when the rat ate them all the way down. They were like the size of a pencil or something. But Here's this guy here. This one here is the biggest one. I've been bringing this inside and I've given it the more attention. I've given it the bigger pot. It was all, always my fastest growing palm from seed here. So uh, I actually have one that, that beat it out for this past year, but I grew a lot more. But this is what these leaves are looking like. They're very, very stiff fronds. This has been in the sun uh, and was coming in for the winters in the early spring or in for the nights in the early spring. And uh, it hasn't started coming in yet, but it probably will any day now because uh, we are one day, two days away from fall. So it's uh, technically it starts on the 23rd this year. So, uh, but this palm uh, in the potted height is over my waist. So it's uh, it's over about three feet. Planted height would be, you know, a little less. I don't know, it's probably two and a half feet. No, it's still probably close to three feet planted height, I guess. Because this is probably almost as tall as a sheet of drywall right now. So it's probably close to four feet in the pot. And it's a 17 or whatever, 16 inch pot depth. But uh, that's how it's looking. This one is uh, got 10 fronds on it right now. Uh, it had more. At one point, it was holding about 13 fronds. Uh, I also sunburnt some of them, though, because I had it at nighttime with an LED on one night in the spring, early spring. I had the light on, and uh, basically what I did is I had the light running right on it. It was on the whole, on the whole time. I turned it off at about 7 o'clock in the morning when I woke up, and then when I left for work at 9, I put it, so I should turn the light off. It was sitting in the dark in the room there. The palm went to sleep, and then uh, it was early spring. The sun's very intense, and I put it outside after sitting in dark for about an hour or two, so the palm fell asleep, and I put it in full blazing sun and burned it. So at least I figured out my mistake, but uh, the leaves are starting to get there. You know, they're 360 here. They're starting to come all the way around. They're getting really aggressive. That's with the Mexican fan palm. They eventually go, so they almost all the way the leaf is a 360 degree spread, the fan comes all the way around. You can see it's starting to do that here. This one here is, is starting to close the gap as opposed to this one here or this one here where it's on a 90 degree point. You can see they start to get a lot more, it's like a, a, a fan around the patio. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, it's pumping out. It does two at a time right now. You can see there's another, I can move that away. You can see there's another frond beside it. So we've got one here, another one there, and just open this one the other day. That's why it's this. A little bit lighter green because it just opened this one anyways and uh it shrunk the leaf size down a little bit uh from being in full sun but that's what you can expect for a two-year-old uh, palm so this is a, i know it's a long video but i thought it'd be interesting some people like uh stay tuned for uh, next year i'll definitely do another update on these ones so uh, i might try to keep some of these i'm probably going to sell or give away some of them but i was also trying to to keep some of them i want to keep at least one or two so uh, i can keep doing this update uh, every couple of years and uh, just so you guys know, this one is going to go in the ground in the spring. So we'll see how that does and see how it likes it. This will be my first uh, seed growing palm going in the ground. Um, I think it'll do great. I'm going to probably put it beside my other Mexican fan palm. So uh, we'll see anyways. And uh, there you can get the Musa Baju. This thing's actually growing pretty good. Even with uh, not like I planted at the end of the year and it's in almost full shade. It just gets a bit of morning sun here. It's still growing like crazy, and uh, it's stiffened up the leaves. I had it in full sun on my patio, and this thing was just doing like crap. I don't mind it now, though. It's starting to look okay. I like, like, these leaves look a lot better. I don't know. It was so droopy and gross looking and putting out pups now. It's got a bunch of these little pups coming out. Uh, so maybe I will protect it a little bit. I don't know what, how I'm going to protect it. I might just protect it with mulch. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Later.